Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be part six of my Maze Plus tutorial series. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. So I'm recording this right after I finished recording my grass and hay video uh, for Maze Plus, which is part uh, five, which I definitely recommend watching before we get into this. Uh, but we're gonna go over just kind of a few things. So first off, uh, just like grass, alfalfa and clover, which is what we're going over today is alfalfa and clover. I don't know if I mentioned that, right that. we're going over alfalfa and clover. Um, these are two additional crop types. You might find them on other maps, but uh, uh, these are specifically the ones we're going to go over, the ones specific to the Maze Plus extension. Uh, so they do not need to be reseeded. They're like grass. They'll keep growing after you mow them. They'll regrow up. They work exactly like grass does as far as um, everything, it, literally almost everything. They work exactly or almost exactly as grass does and hay does in um maize plus so as far as maize plus grows um now they're used there they have various uses we're going to go over clover hay alfalfa hay uh, clover and um alfalfa so we're going to talk about making hay out of them as well and going through all that process and what you kind of can do with them and also too i just want to know you can make silage out of each of these we're not going to go into any of the silage i'm going to have my own video dedicated to all the silages um involved in alfalfa and clover so we're just going to focus on these for now so um, let's get started. So what can you do with it? Uh, well, you can sell it. If we go into the store here and take a look across, you can sell uh, certain aspects of it uh, depending on where you're at. Alfalfa hay might be taking a uh, alfalfa semi-dry, like the clover, clover semi-dry. Some of them might be taken at various places, or you can use them, which is probably the more likely what you're going to do with them is you're going to use them to feed animals. So sheep can take clover hay and alfalfa hay and clover, uh, different feed categories, of course. Pigs can take clover. Uh, cows can take clover hay, alfalfa hay, or clover, and horses can take alfalfa hay. So those are the various ways you can use them. Um, yeah, and also just like in the grass and hay part, mower conditioners have the same effect as mentioned previously. So let's go ahead and jump into it here um, and talk about this just kind of like we did in the last um, um, last video. So if you mow alfalfa or clover using a regular mower, you're going to get wet, wet alfalfa or wet clover, which you can bale it and you will get alfalfa and clover bales out of that or you can put it into a bunker silo, or if you use a um, forage chopper to pick it up, you're gonna get uh, fresh alfalfa or clover fresh. Now, if you ted it one stage, or you mow it with a mower conditioner, you're gonna get alfalfa or clover, depending on what your crop type is. And then if you bale that, you're gonna get alfalfa or clover bales. If you put it in a bunker silo, it's gonna be the same as before, so you can put it in a bunker silo sill. If you use a chopper to pick it up, same as before, alfalfa fresh and clover fresh is what you're gonna get. Now, if you ted it times two, or you take what you mow with a mower conditioner and ted it times one, you're gonna get semi-dry alfalfa and semi-dry clover. You're also gonna get, if you bale that, alfalfa or clover bales, or if you put it in the bunker silo, you're gonna be able to do that. And if you pick it up with a chopper, same as before, alfalfa fresh and clover fresh. Now, if you ted it times three, or you mow it with a mower conditioner and ted it times two, you are gonna get alfalfa hay or clover hay. Um, if you bale it, you're gonna get alfalfa hay or clover hay or if you pick it up, you're gonna get alfalfa hay or clover hay. You can't put it in a bunker silo and you can't pick it up with a uh, forage wagon, or not a forage wagon, sorry, a uh, forage harvester with a pickup. So, all right, since we've talked about how to make alfalfa and clover and how to work with that in uh, Maze Plus, we're just gonna go over a couple things, what they look like. So right here, starting from the left over to the right, on the very left, we have wet alfalfa, which just to reiterate, that's what happens if you use a regular mower and you mow it on the field. Then the next one over, we have um, alfalfa, which that is if you either mow it when you either mow it with a mower conditioner or if you mow it then ted it once then on the third spot over to the right second to the last there um, that is going to be semi dry alfalfa which is what happens when you either mow it with a mower conditioner then ted it um, once or if you mow it and then ted it twice and then on the very far side we have alfalfa hay which again is if you mow it with a mower conditioner and then ted it um, twice or if you mow it with a regular mower and then ted it three times so all that should work in general in most areas and this is what kind of an alfalfa field looks like um, so yeah that's all this stuff with the alfalfa and again um, just like anything else alfalfa is going to get seeded um, with a cedar in here so alfalfa and clover are both going to be planted with regular cedars and they regrow so there's everything about alfalfa let's go ahead and cover clover real quick all right, and taking a look at clover on the very left side, we have wet clover, which again, that's what's gonna happen if you mow clover with a regular mower. Then the next one over from the left is uh, clover, which is what's gonna happen if you mow clover with a baler or a 
geez, a mower conditioner, if I could even talk, or if you mow it with a regular mower, then Ted at once. Then the next one over from that, second to last, is going to be uh, semi-dry clover, which is what's going to happen if you mow it with the mower conditioner and Ted it once, or if you mow it with the regular mower and Ted it twice. Then if we go to the very right side there, that is going to be um, uh, clover hay, which is what happens if you mow it with the mower conditioner, then Ted it twice, or if you mow it with the regular mower and Ted it three times. So that is all the various ones. This is what a clover field looks like here. And again, clover is planted with the regular cedar and needs this regular care, very similar to grass. So... Um, yeah, that is everything I have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.